Hello, this is Matt on the Moon Lambo channel, and I've got a couple stories for you in this latest Moon Lambo Hot Jam. Including this one from Finance Magnates titled, XRP Wallet Moves $93 million Worth of Cryptocurrency. And these stories just keep popping up. Hell, here's another one from you today. 120.5 million XRP shifted by Ripple and large US-based exchanges. And so just in a general sense, I think these are just more indications of how things, they, they don't be getting heated up in the XRP world. But really because of crypto in general, everything is just exploding right here. And then look at this headline on a separate XRP related topic from Crypto News Flash. XRP holders are, quote, no friends of the, of the court, end quote, SEC says in latest motion. Think about that. You're an XRP holder, right? You are not a friend of the court. You are the SEC's, and you are on their enemy list. Like, you know, like kindergartners make enemy lists. In, like, this is, they're writing you down. Like, they've got a journal. Here's my enemy list, note down. XRP holders. That's, that's exactly what they're doing here. So. Anyway, um, th so this is actually a story I, I covered recently in another video, but I've got comments now from, uh, new comments from attorney John Deaton, who is at the heart of all of this. So plenty to talk about. Uh, I do want to be clear at the outset, though, I don't have a legal or financial background of any kind. I am not offering legal or financial advice, and you should not buy or sell anything because of anything I say or write. I'm just a guy on the internet with a silly-ass name. Moonland, but what the hell that is? Yeah, I don't know either, man. Uh, so even if I were offering advice, though, would you would you want to take it? A guy on the internet named Moon Lambo who may or may not be wearing pants. Like, you don't even know my pants situation. Come on, guys. So I'm just saying it. But look, it's fun to make YouTube videos about Ripple and XRP and crypto. So that's all that's going on here. But um, so the, uh, shout out also, I gotta, before I forget here, Boncrip XRP set this for, first piece my way. XRP wallet moves $93 million worth of cryptocurrency. So you hear XRP whale, man. XRP whales getting at it. XRP whales have accelerated the movement of the world's seventh most valuable cryptocurrency after a price jump of nearly 12% in the last 24 hours. Oh, uh, that's another reason I wanted to highlight this. There are consequences uh, to uh, to what coin market cap has done. Do you know what I'm getting at yet? Coin market cap is reporting a false market cap uh, for XRP. It's it's like you don't crypto good, bro. Like it, th think about this, coin market cap, the like, display market caps key function of their website can't accurately display market cap. So what what happened is in the world of crypto, the way that market cap is is being calculated is you take the circulating supply times the current market price, but they're reporting an incorrect circulating supply that's actually at 2016 levels. But the circulating supply has increased about 11 billion in the last five years or so. And so by reporting the smaller, older number, uh, you get a much lower market cap, which puts XRP in the number seven position in terms of market cap, which is actually a problem because like it or not, people uh, use the ranking of market cap uh, to, to get a feel for uh, what, what cryptos are actually worth relative to one another. So right or wrong, that is how humans are behaving. And... Uh, it, 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 this is absolutely in some way going to affect it, people actually investing or not investing in XRP. So I don't like it. You get the, like CoinWatch, though, they are still properly reporting uh, the market cap of XRP, as is every other index on the entire planet that I'm aware of anyway. It's just coin market cap here. Um, so anyway, um, a large XRP wallet has transferred $93 million worth of digital currency to an unknown wallet today. And so it ended up being 61.99 million XRP uh, coins. And so like, it's just another one of many stories, and I've been highlighting them fairly consistently just to kind of point out. Uh, it, it's just one thing to track, one thing to be aware of, that it's just, to me, an indication we're, we're in bull market territory. There's a lot more activity than there was for most of the last three years. Now, into this piece from Crypto News Flash, XRP holders are no friends of the court, SEC says in latest motion. Ugh, I haven't been on an enemy list since the second grade, so this is kind of refreshing. Brings me back, guys. The U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission is still fighting to nail Ripple for alleged unregistered securities violations. In the latest twist, the regulator has objected to a motion by six XRP holders seeking to intervene in the lawsuit. The six sought to intervene as impartial parties to provide information to the court when needed. However, the SEC has come out fighting, claiming the six are no friends to the court. And, and by the way, uh, just to be clear also, John Deaton, so in the six here, 
also representing 17,000 XRP holders that voluntarily signed up with them. So it isn't actually just, just the six here. But anyway, let's move on. XRP holders have continued to seek involvement in the lawsuit. Being the parties who stand to lose or gain the most from the lawsuit, they feel it's only right for them to have a seat at the table, even if just to observe proceedings. In their most recent bid, six XRP holders had sought to intervene as third-party defendants known in legal terms as, and I'm going to butcher this, but I'll, I'll give it a whirl, uh, Amiche, Amiche Cura, 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 I don't know, it's, it's, it's spelled C-U-R-I-A-E, which to me looks like a typo. It looks like maybe it's just, it doesn't have enough letters or something. I, you, you tell me that. I, I could have Googled it because I got the sum of all human knowledge basically at my fingertips here, and I just didn't even care enough to Google it to find out how to say it. And here I am just bitching up a storm. But you know what? Bitching up a storm is a lot more fun than looking up things on the Googles. So anyway, so it's known as Amiche Cura, uh, which in layman's terms refers to friends of the court. In that position, the holders would be a party to court proceedings, but would not be directly involved. In some instances, the court can allow them to provide certain information pertinent to the case. The six are renowned crypto lawyer John Deaton, Mitchell McKenna. Uh, you know, I don't need to read them They're on the screen if you actually care. But um, here, sorry, somebody's, I'm getting a spam call on my phone, which is on silent and it still vibrated and distracted me. I don't know about you guys, I'm getting like calls, calls like spam calls, I'm getting text spam, and there seems to be no way to stop it. I would love to make a video where I just bitch about that, because like, it's so fun to bitch about stuff. But, but it's not what my channel is about, so I won't do it. I won't do it. <sighs> Sorry for getting knocked off course there. But anyway, so here's a tweet from uh, John Deaton. This is, a, this is a brand new one, and he wrote the following. SEC claims that XRP holders can't be granted amicus because we are biased and not impartial and therefore must be denied. And then in this tweet, in case you're not looking at the screen, you should be aware of this. John Deaton shared a facepalm emoji, <laughs> which is always fun to use. I like it. And then he wrote... Uh, someone better tell all the federal courts, including the Supreme Court of the United States, that there were uh, that they were wrong for granting amicus in the following. And then he goes on to say, state a number of uh, cases, some of them very big, uh, in a separate tweet, which I'm not going to read through. But he, 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 a number of instances were clearly uh, there was there was bias. So the idea that there's a bias just means that the SEC they ain't lawyering good. They don't lawyer good. That's what's happening here, effectively. Um, and so the SEC is having none of this in its objection. The regular stated the following movements cannot offer any unique perspective or information that is not already available to the courts, either in the public record or through the presentation of defendants, able counsel, nor are movements impartial objective participants seeking to aid the court. And so like I, I already tore that to shreds and uh, really John Deaton did the best job ever tearing it to shreds. In, uh, in in his uh, re most recent legal re legal response to what the SEC had to say on that, because there are there's no way, and I'm not getting into the specifics here. Just make the video go way too long, and I, I just did that yesterday. <laughs> but uh, there's so many instances of, of of well, first of all, real world utility of XRP actual adoption outside of what Ripple is doing in positioning XRP as a bridge currency, but also it's very clear to see how Ripple's not in a position to defend. Like all of that. That is not what they're doing. They are a they're a fintech company that's pushing to use a cryptocurrency XRP as a bridge currency. Uh, they are not the XRP gods of the universe. Like that is not what is happening here. They're fantastic. I'm a big fan of Ripple. I like what they're doing. But there are all sorts of other developers building on top of the XRP ledger, also doing awesome things. Ripple, what they're doing, that's just what they're doing with XRP. They're just the most well known, and, and for good reason. Uh, but, but to pretend there aren't others, and then to expect that Ripple's the master of all of that knowledge and understanding? No. There are all sorts of third parties that are in a superior position to defend to defend their perspective, and uh, the SEC just doesn't want XRP holders to be heard. And for good reason. We're all pissed off at the SEC because they're a bunch of asshats. That's it. All right, I'll go ahead and wrap up there. I am not a financial advisor. Do not buy or sell anything because of anything that I say or write. That would be a very, very, very bad idea. Until next time, to the moon, Lambeau.